Hockey is brutal. A sport where getting knocked out or flung around like a toy is all part of the game. Not even the refs are safe. But we'll start off mild. The Devils playing the Flyers in Game 5, and Zach Rinaldo delivers a crushing blow to Volchikov. He got straight up sandwiched. Payback for Volchikov's hit on Shen earlier. That one was pretty brutal as well. Never mess with crazy, toothless Russians. That's the moral of this story. The Bruins leading three to zip against the Capitals when Marchand gets the puck and is nearing the net. Ovi charges up and sends both Marchand's helmet and the player himself flying. Marchand only stops when he hits the wall. Seems Ovi can send both the puck and the players themselves flying. Hit of the year during the 2008-2009 season and it unsurprisingly left Martin Havlett down for the count. But Nicholas Cronwall was soon to receive some instant payback, especially when Big Buff is on the other team. Havlett was looking down to find the puck and right at that moment Cronwall hit him with everything he had. Brutal. The fight on top of Havlett as well that could have ended even worse with a misplaced skate. With a glass shattering hit, the now legendary captain Trevor Linden delivers a straight up brutal one on Jeff Norton. This hit literally the reason for the switch to plexiglass as Linden left both Norton's face and pride cut up. It sends the poor guy out of the stadium but also shows the kind of guy Linden is as he tries to help out the St. Louis player. Commendable, both the hit and the sportsmanship. Game one between the Canadians and the Jets and Jake Evans has an open net. He's gonna get down there first, the net is empty. Can he tuck it in? He does. Pays a price but scores the goal. He's out for the count. Sheffley rushes home at absolutely full throttle and converts that speed into a cannon of a hit. The force needed to ragdoll a six foot one guy and straight to the head as Evans is focused on scoring the goal. God damn, the Canadians rush in to beat Sheffley up, but the fight breaks out right over Evans, who lies limp. A terrifying hit, but just as terrifying is all the damage a skate could do to Evans as they brawl above him. Sheffley got a five-minute major and a four-game suspension for the concussion. With an old-school open-ice hip check, PK delivered a nasty one on Brad Marchand. Marchand catches the puck from behind his own net, builds up two-thirds of the ice before getting crushed by Subban. There was no recovery from that one, and Marchand had to go straight to the bench. Boston already down 2-1, and now they lost Marchand as well. Here, Mike Van Rin is given a glass shower by Milan Lucic. Hits a full force right through the glass. The Bruins have already put two in the net, but now put one man through the glass as well. Teammates literally picking glass from Van Ryn's neck. Now for a hit that almost ends up with a sliced neck. Larson, Hall and him lined up and he belted him and Larson's... Larson takes a shoulder straight to the head from Taylor Hall. A brawl breaks out, as it should after a hit like that, but Larson is still out cold in the middle of it all. The skates literally inches away from his neck. One even knocks off his helmet. Larson was soon carried out in a stretcher. The refs have to do more in a situation like that. Throw yourself over his head if necessary. This hit made Duchesne into a professional gymnast as Orlov performed the greatest hip check of the last decades. As Duchesne prepares for a dribble, Orlov flips the 200 pound center like a toddler. Not that you should hit toddlers like that, to be clear. What a hit from Orlov though. He shuts down the play instantly and with style. The rarity of hip checks as well, dang. Incredibly clean, quite embarrassing for Duchesne as well. He tries to recover both his balance and his pride, but the puck has moved too fast. David Booth and the hit that he unsurprisingly does not remember. Panthers versus Flyers, Flyers up 3-1. He has the Panther goal tonight. I got hit hard up high and David Booth is on the Mike Richards, the captain of the Flyers and known for his incredibly physical play style, he jumps to deliver a high hit straight into Booth's head. Booth laid unconscious for an unsettling amount of time. This is a hit that set the hockey community ablaze. The one that seems to have everybody like just plummet. Yeah, this is Nick Cousins on Eric Goodbranson. Goodbranson has his back turned and Cousins loads up and proceeds to smash into his back. Good Branson himself said the day after the match that he felt lucky as he avoided lasting injuries. The Canadian defenseman got his revenge hitting Cousins' head into the ice repeatedly afterwards. The hit by Cousins was unnecessary, 
dangerous, dirty. There is just no place in the NHL for that. But the worst thing is how Cousins refuses to fight afterwards. If you play hard, you gotta deal with the consequences. I'd say a cowardly move. And you'd think refs were relatively safe on the ice. Well, I think Don Henderson would disagree. He's been laid out more than once. Here, a charging 200-pound Yannick Weber lays out Henderson. And who can forget how Weidman just knocks him down from behind for some reason? Weidman had just been hit himself, and on his way to the bench, he racked up a 10-game suspension by taking it out on the ref. He narrowly avoided even more repercussions as Henderson sued Weidman but lost the case. A hit that made headlines. And I understand that the phones just blew up in the NHL office. Jesus, just excessive. Sunquist moving into the middle of the ice when he gets hit by a 6'4", 220-pound truck moving at full speed. I don't even know how to react to that one. Straight to the dome, Tom Wilson, one of the last remaining monstrous heavy hitters. And dang, what a hit. And now a hit that gave Aaron Rome a four-game suspension and Nathan Horton lasting brain damage. In Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Finals between Boston and Vancouver, Rome let loose a cannon of a left shoulder and right into Horton's head. A second after releasing the puck, Rome caught him blindsided and accelerating, leading to an insane impact. The hit was late, brutal, and Horton was stretchered off soon after. He wouldn't play for the rest of that season or the next one. The Bruins would go on to win the Cup.